Good morning and welcome to day seven on the Appalachian Trail. Had a good night last night, slept at um, around the Ben Hostel and Mike and I had a little room to ourselves, which was very nice. And um, there was a shuttle driver who is the owner of the hostel and he drove, oh, I would say about eight of us in a van to the trailhead this morning at Unicoi Gap so we can start where we left off, which was lovely. Um, and as you can see, it's another absolutely beautiful day. It's supposed to be in the high 70s today, uh, which is wonderful. And I've been climbing for about a mile and then I think it levels off for a while and then we climb again. We have a big climb today up Trey Mountain and my plan is to spend the night um, at Deep Gap Shelter where uh, we will camp and and we'll see how that goes. It should be a nice shelter. I heard good things about it, but we'll probably camp. All right, I hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday and uh, I will see you up the trail. Uh-oh, <laughs> somebody's coming. That's Micah's job, bye. A little hazy, but beautiful. Um, the barking that Micah, that you just experienced was um, this hiker who I saw yesterday, his name, his trail name is Ghost Runner. And how he's hiking it, <clears throat> his wife and daughter are in an RV and they go from gap to gap and he hikes the section and then he meets them and then he sleeps in his RV every night. All he has is um, a very, very light, you know, runner's pack on his body. And that's how he's doing the hike. And he hopes to do a through. I, I think he's trying to do a through, but um, he runs a little bit. He, he hikes a little bit, but his trail name is Ghost Runner because he's so quiet. I can barely hear him coming if it wasn't for Micah. All right, beautiful view so far. And everybody, this is Jim. Jim was amazing to me. <laughs> he's my trail angel yesterday, drove me to um, around the Ben Hostel and he should become a ridge runner because all day long I see, I see him going up and down the trail and uh, he would be great at a ridge runner. But anyway, thank you, Jim. I'm so grateful for the ride yesterday yeah, yeah. and happy hiking. Happy hiking, you're welcome. Bye. Good luck, stay safe. Oh, well, I've been climbing for a while and that is the summit of Trey Mountain. That's where I'm heading to have lunch. Uh, so, as you can see, again, it's a beautiful day. I'm walking along a ridge. It's gorgeous. And I had the pleasure of speaking to Lisa this morning from my office. And uh, she's holding down the fort. So is Poyao. And Julia will be back from vacation and Seamus too on Friday. So I'm grateful to all of you. It was wonderful to hear your voice, Lisa. And glad things are going well. Everybody needs a Lisa in their life. That's what, that's my mantra. <laughs> I'm very blessed to work with such wonderful people. So anyway, and Lisa, you said I'm not huffing and puffing. Well, I am now because this part is a little plateaui, but I've been climbing pretty steep and then it's going to get steep again. So I'll put this away. Oh, I had my first mishap already. Nothing serious, but I, uh, lost one of my smart water bottles. It was empty. Either I left it in the van, the shuttle van on the way here, or it fell out of the side of my pocket while I was um, uh, taking my sun hoodie off. But it's not a big deal. I filled up my sea knock bag and uh, I have enough water, but I'll have to get another one when I get to town in a couple days. All right, on to Trey Mountain, onward. We just had lunch at Trey Mountain Shelter and there were lots of people there, people that I've been hiking with sort of today. There they are. Um, they're from England and Florida. One of her sisters is hiking with her just for a few days. The shelter was nice. We met Shira too, who is also through hiking. I think this is her third time and it's beautiful up here. It's sunny. 
but uh, we have many miles to go still. I think we have, we've done six, and I think we have maybe six and a half or seven. So I'm gonna book on. Well, we just turned onto the Blue Blaze um, to go to the shelter. And it's, what time is it? It's five, almost 5.30. It's my, been my longest day, uh, 13 something miles. Um, my Garmin says I've been hiking for eight and a half hours. I don't remember if I shut it off during lunch. Uh, so maybe I've been hiking for eight. I don't know. But anyway, it's been a beautiful day. But this was a hard one. There was a lot of ups, changes in elevations, a lot of climbing, a lot of downs. But I'm so happy to be at the shelter in about uh, less than half a mile. So I'll catch you later, maybe in my tent. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, in my tent. As you know, we made it to the shelter and it was um, a very difficult climb today. Um, it was a lot of climbing and it was hot, but we had enough water, so that was good. And it's very peaceful here at the shelter. There's plenty of people here. There's probably about eight people who um, set up tents and then a lot of people are sleeping in the shelter. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Um, my plan is to try to get out here, to try to get out of here early and pack up so I don't have to pack up a wet tent. Ooh, I hate doing that. Um, and then a shuttle driver is picking me up at 11.30 in the morning. I only have four miles tomorrow um, to get down uh, into Dick's Creek Gap. <clears throat> and then there's a cabin, I guess, I'm gonna be staying at. And I have to resupply. Mike is getting low on food. <clears throat> and I have to get some as well. And then I probably am gonna take a zero on Saturday, which means I don't hike at all, but I clean my gear, I um, go into town, maybe eat some real food. Um, what else do I need to do? Oh, resupply. Because after that, I have to plan probably four, four or five days um, for my next stop. Uh, the next four or five days after I um, zero, so that would be Sunday, I probably will uh, just try to stay and camp out because the weather looks decent in the beginning of the week. So um, Mike is doing great. He is sacked out. I don't know if you could see him, but he is sacked out in a little corner there. He's got his little fleece blanket that he's lying on and his sits pad that he carries and he's starting to like it now, now, now better. And he, uh, I wrap my puffy jacket around him, although it's 53 degrees tonight, so it's very warm. Anyway, this is my shirt that's hanging in there. Anyway, I hope everybody had a great Thursday and I will keep you posted on what's going on. All right, love you all.